couple days, I'll be honest with you. She's, you know, been our, in our family for the last 11 years. The Walnista family here in Shrewsbury lost their dog Tuesday night when Katie, a five pound Maltese, was taken by a coyote. It happened around 1030 when Tracy, just as she does every night before bed, let the dog out. Then all of a sudden, what I thought was maybe a large fox, it just came right out of the woods. I immediately started screaming. Now when this happened, Tracy was watching Katie, as she always does from the porch, maybe 10, 15 yards away. I woke up to this. Not only is my dog gone, but now my mom's trying to find a coyote. Paul Zekas, who owns three dogs himself, and lives on the street behind the Wallenistas, also very concerned. He's actually seen the coyotes and showed us these pictures. They are free to roam in that area, um, but it sure brings, you know, it, it, it brings the problem right into the neighborhood and, and it creates some, uh, saying, some anxiety to say the least. I come back here and take a look. These are the woods that Paul was talking about. Conservation land, acres upon acres. This is where the coyotes come up. And they're not just coming up at night or at dusk. Paul says they're coming up during the day too. It is troubling when, when you certainly hit so close to home. In Shrewsbury, Duke Castiglione, WCVB, News Center 5.